Okay, so right now it is 2 p.m. I was supposed to be completely done with uh, this entire project. A lot of people have been asking if this app that I'm building, if this is like my new startup or what the deal is with it. And the truth is it's just an app that I wanted to build. It's nothing fancy, nothing special. I don't think it's going to be a startup in itself. This is just me getting back into making apps and this seemed like a really simple app to make. And I spent like an entire day just looking for time tracking apps, super productive, and went through like 20 different ones, couldn't find any that did or had these specific features that I wanted. So I thought I should just make one myself and that would be the perfect thing to make videos about as well. So this isn't necessarily about this specific app, this video series, my goal with it is to just continue making app after app after app until I find something that's actually got some potential in it. So hopefully I can then dive way deeper on into that specific app and expand on that idea and make it into a real startup. And the reason that I really like this plan is because it has so much like intrinsic value. If you think about things like external motivation versus intrinsic motivation. This plan has intrinsic value to it, which is that even if the videos don't perform well, I still get to practice making apps. I still get to make apps, which I enjoy. I still get to make these videos, which I enjoy. I get to make a lot more videos because I can make them with higher frequency. So I'll get better at making videos. And there's probably more things to this. I will get better at going from an idea of an app to an actual finished app or a, an MVP of an app at least. And that is super attractive to investors, which might be something that I maybe 10 years from now will have an app idea and I will need to build something and then go to investors to get funding for it. In that case, this practice that I'm doing right now will make me more equipped to handle that in the future so that's why I really like this idea because it doesn't stand or fall on either of these pillars it's just all of these pillars are kind of good for the whole of this plan if that makes sense I find it a, di a bit difficult I'm a bit rusty at actually talking to the camera I feel like so I'm not super articulate about this but I hope that kind of came across build a unique character, a unique brand, a unique mindset, where then luck finds you. Today, what we need to do is we need to actually start figuring out the logic for adding a new time entry into this app and um, because now we can load time entries from the database and show them uh, in the app but there's no use loading time entries if we don't if we aren't able to actually add time entries so today we're going to try to actually finish the feature that will make me able to use the app for tracking time uh, which I think will be very interesting because I'll be able to then track how much time I'm spending building this app, uh, which I think so far has been like somewhere around like 40 or 50 hours I think I've spent. Uh, but now I think we're going to be making a lot more progress with the UI because now a lot of the back-end stuff is figured out and now I understand how to at least a little bit how to use the block pattern uh, and I feel like the more I'm going to be building out these features the more I'm going to understand how to use it properly and the faster it's going to go so um, now I need to figure out when I add a time entry how is that going to look and what do we need and uh, how's the actual logic behind that going to work um, and that's going to be the first task for today
Okay, so now I think I've been able to create a timer that we can start a task and then stop a task and then we'll get a start time and an end time. And uh, I've just done this as simply as I possibly could, which is just adding two buttons. I haven't even placed them anywhere. Um, just a play and a stop button. So we're gonna play and just wait a few seconds and then we'll pr press stop. And this should then add a new time entry into our list of time entries. So if we press the home button, we get a new time entry here uh, in our list of time entries for zero hours, zero minutes and five seconds. So that seems to be working. Um, it has no tags, it has no tasks, it has no name either. But we're actually getting closer to uh, being able to use this app now to start tracking uh, my time. But what we need to do now is we need to continue building this out so that we can actually set a name for a project, a name for a task, a name for a tag and connect all these things together uh, and then just, I mean, refine it a little bit so that it looks better. But I'm going to continue doing this with just this basic UI that you see right here. Because uh, I think I can create the logic before I start building out the actual components of the UI. Um, and then once I have the logic behind it and how it's all going to work and fit together, then we can move on to actually building it and making it look uh, the way that it should. All right, um, I'm going to make my breakfast shake. I'm not going to show you again because this will be like the, I don't know, fourth time in that case during this little video series. By the way, this is episode five. So if you haven't seen the other ones, go back and watch those. All right, so this is just so that you know that I don't always eat perfectly healthy. This is a pizza that I asked to have extra large because for some reason the pizza place downstairs, they just make uh, this particular pizza very small. So it's barely a dinner. And if you look at it, I don't know if you can see it, but it's not that big, I don't think. And this is an extra large one, so. Anyway, now I've been climbing with my friends and had a sauna as well and just basically spent the entire evening. It's 8.45 p.m. right now, something like that. And I'm basically just going to have this and then do my evening routine and go to bed. Okay, so I did ask for an extra large one because I said that I just first asked is it possible to get an extra large one or just a slightly bigger one and then he was like well no uh, we don't make family size so like he was kind of like what do you mean and then I said I basically had to say well uh, what I mean is just just slightly larger and he was like kind of confused and then I had to say that 
Well, because last time I bought one, it was just a little bit small. So I was just wondering if it could be just a little bit bigger this time. Uh, and that, he was just like, after I said that, he was like, oh, that's fine. That's no worries at all. We'll make it extra big for you. Uh, but that then gives me a little bit of anxiety about, did he spit in my, or do something to my pizza? I will never know that. And, uh, but he seems super nice. And when I came in, he seemed super nice. I don't think so, but it's definitely something that I'm thinking about and trying not to think about too much.